people come into our building here at North Pole Middle, they say it has a really good feel to it. It feels good. We get into sixth graders and they come in really tiny, just physically tiny. And then to look at them change and grow over the course of the three years, um, it's pretty fascinating. But you've got to enjoy silliness and goofiness and the malleability that they have with them. The middle schoolers allow for me to be who I am, genuinely, um, which is someone who can be playful and fun with kids, but also I can be stern with them or firm with them when needed and provide the guidelines that they need, yet allow them some freedom to make choices. And they understand that if they do what they're supposed to do, the adults will leave them alone. And as long as we, the adults, have set up good boundaries and parameters for them, then they're pretty successful. There, were, there has been and will always be appreh apprehension for when an elementary student transitions to the middle school setting. Doesn't matter if it's a fifth grader going to sixth grade or a sixth grade going to seventh grade. It's a different beast. It's middle school. Um, and so what we try to help people do is understand how we structure things, how we allow for freedom, and choice but very clear boundaries and expectations so we try to provide reassurance and I what people have realized is their kids are pretty successful here kids that may not be real successful in an elementary setting where they've got to stay in one classroom all day they come here they get to move about every hour and they are able to manage and do pretty well uh, we still have those that choose to go to a smaller setting and that's wonderful because we at least have choice and choice is important for those families because we as a school can't be everything to every child. We serve some students that are part of Allison Air Force Base, part of Fort, Fort Wainwright. So our military population makes up maybe a third of our total population. Uh, and then we have um, kids that come to us for all the way up from Two Rivers, which is about 24 miles away. So it's a long trip for them. Um, we have some kids that come to us from Fairbanks. Uh, we have kids that come to us from Salcha. Uh, we have quite a, a diverse population regarding our uh, ethnicities. And I think that's something that people don't realize. They view the North Pole community as predominantly white. Um, but we have a pretty robust uh, ethnicity spread here at North Pole Middle School. And Kids don't think about it and adults don't think about it, it just is. For a lot of years, North Pole Middle used to be a, a, a jumping off spot. You spend a couple years there and then you jump off to where you really want to be. Well, for a lot of people here, North Pole Middle has become a destination and it's where they choose to stay. Because we've created a culture where we, as faculty, we get along, we're honest with one another, we're not perfect, uh, but we can at least have a difficult conversation with one another respectfully. Testing, the testing piece is getting tricky because more and more families are opting out of it. Uh, they don't find value in it. The kids aren't trying very hard on it. Uh, and so it's difficult to get what I would deem as accurate data in that regard, um, even from my own children. <laughs> uh, I enjoy the map data because when we can incentivize kids to keep trying, we have a tendency to get a little more reliable data and they are showing growth. And that's important for teachers to see that, it's important for kids to see that, and for families to see that. Um, uh, we try to help teachers understand that uh, we want all of our kids to get a very a, a base education. So as they move forward, next year's teachers know that they know what to expect. They've all had this exposure, so we don't have to reteach that. Um, so they move forward. People in general want school change. They want it to get better and, and they look to the building principal to fix everything. I'm just one guy. There's 568 kids in this building and we need them to help us to make things better. It's too big of a system to try for one person, the principal, to fix it. It's not even possible. It's not even close to being possible. It's not possible for just the principal and the teachers to fix it. We have to work together on this if we're gonna make this place a better place. That means we have to empower kids to help the adults and then the adults have to help the kids. Why I'm passionate about this school is because it's, it's a little bit of a hidden gem that people don't understand until they walk into it and they see it and they feel it.
but we do a tremendous amount of good here and the kids know it.